How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome to another Let's Play to Learn. In this video we're going to be playing the game Wand Wars. It just came out, it looks really fun. From what I know it's an arena battle game and it kind of reminds me of uh, really fast paced Quidditch but with more of a death kind of feel to it than a try to score points. Um, let's just kind of skip through this here and get to the game itself. I think this game has an amazing aesthetic to it with the pixel art. Uh, I did pick story mode here. They pretty much have single player and then they have, um, they have co-op mode, I believe. I am not a thief. But the things I've seen so far, I love the gameplay, I love the power-ups, I love the effects. Uh, I ran through the tutorial on my own, uh, just so I could kind of get a feel for it, uh, versus kind of being slow. Basically, that thing's the orb. I need to get it and then hold down. I don't know if that means I won or I died. Uh, I guess it's like one off. There's no real dodging mechanic though, which I think is necessary. Basically, I can hit A to deflect. Looks like I, I died there. Uh, I can hit A to deflect. I can hit X to charge a dark arrow, and that'll slow people down. And then I can hit A on this, and I can hold it down, it'll get larger, uh, and it'll also kind of bounce around the screen and, and hit enemies, which is pretty much the whole point. It's like the magical orb, I think is what they call it. Um, which is really cool. The things that I really like about this so far, I mean, this is really the first time I'm playing this other than the tutorial, um, is I like that it stays on one screen. I like that the pixel art is pretty much on point, but really the particle effects are going crazy, and I love it. Uh, I think that really does this game a lot of justice, especially when you can see that trail effect when I'm moving with the uh, key, if you look at my tail there. Um, I keep hitting, I think I just died there, if that's the uh, end of the arena there. I have to play this again. Clearly I did not last in. I wonder how this works. I wonder if I just keep going up and up. Let's retry. Yeah. So... It seems to me like this will actually be a really quick game, as in, well, once I'm not talking and I'm actually paying attention and, and trying to play, uh, it seems to me that this game plays really well, really fast, uh, and then you just kind of try to have fun with it, and I can imagine this being uh, an all-around brawl fest with more than one person. Uh, I mean, I'm playing the AI, we'll see how hard the AI is. Oh yeah! How did I do that? I think, um, so essentially when I hit X, I shoot a dark arrow, and that dark arrow can slow down the, the magic orb a little bit, but it can also turn my opponent into a chicken. So like right now I can turn him into a chicken, I can grab the orb. That's at least the basic combo. I'm not sure if there's, there's a lot of power-ups, I'm not sure if there's anything else that my actual player will get as like an upgrade, but there's a lot of cool power-ups that will pop up and... Uh, I used one of them in the tutorial and it was pretty epic. So, basically, everything we've gone over in these Let's Play to Learn videos are still apparent. You can see here the highlights um, that are kind of like using the opacity uh, sine wave that we kind of went over with... Um, uh, what video was that? We went over that uh, in some video, I forget, off the top of my head. But just kind of like adding in those light reflections. Oh, that was the water video. That's what that was. Um, just everything else that we've kind of talked about here when it comes to doing artwork. Nice, I got him. When it comes to doing artwork, when it comes to actually having, um, we talked about this in the live stream with having screen shake and how that affects your game, even if it's a little bit subtle. Uh, I've done so many screen shake things I didn't really feel that I need to have a separate tutorial on it. It's very, very simple to do uh, with Construct 2. Um, and to this point, I think that this game is pretty easily makeable in Construct 2, or any game for that matter, any game engine for that matter. I don't think we'd have any trouble with this. The part that I think everyone starts to have trouble with is creating the extra system, creating the menus, creating the stat menus, creating all this stuff, um, and making this play well, and making this like an actual uh, fully featured game other than just the gameplay. And I think that's, it goes hand in hand, right? Like that's something that you don't really want to focus on because you want to make your game good, but it's also something that you want to have. At least that's what I've been seeing in the comments most recently. I do wish there was a way to kind of like dodge a little bit more. Maybe that attack kind of gets in the way there. Um, it's interesting. I think one of the things that this, these characters could do that we've seen in, um, or that we were used to from the Bug Butcher, they could be a little bit more bouncy. Not that that might, I mean, that might enhance it just a little bit, but I would expect them to be a little bit more bouncy since they're pretty 
sweet pixel animation. I really like the fact that you pretty much have this one ball or orb that you're throwing around and every time you charge it up, so every time I hold down the A button there, you can actually see it uh, actually get bigger every single time and therefore do more damage. Um, although it seems to me that no matter what, if I get hit once, I, I lose the round, which I don't want to do. But for what I like about this game the most is the effects. I love how they're putting in clouds, they're putting in light effects, they're changing the backgrounds up. Uh, I'm not sure if these are set levels or what. I'm sure they probably are. It would be cool if they, this, this was just generated over and over and over again. I think this is a pretty simple concept and therefore really cool. Simple concepts like these are great things to clone. If you have never made a game before or if you have been messing around with Contra 2, this game would probably be the best game you could clone right from the start. And I mean that in all seriousness because this game has very simple mechanics. It has very simple design. Uh, the artwork is the only thing you would need to really make it an effective clone, but really, this is the kind of game that you want to start with and get your feet wet with because it's a very simple game. There's not a lot going on to it other than the gameplay. Uh, adding in all this extra stuff would just take time, but everything else I think would be a great thing to clone. Maybe we'll do a simple clone of this game, uh, and maybe there is more to this. I see they're trying to add in a story here, which is really nice, um, and I like. I think it's pretty... I guess when you see pixel art stories like this, you just kind of think it's cute. Um, but they're trying, right? Like, this is trying to kind of tie it all together. And for me, that actually works out pretty well, because otherwise this would just be an arena brawler that makes no sense. That was a pretty cool effect. Kind of forget how to use the power-ups, because I haven't really seen one yet. Oh, no. That last battle, I was talking, and I did flawlessly, and, and now I'm off to a bad start. Um... Oh no, get away. Wow. So those power-ups pretty much just annihilate you from the start. It's still pretty cool. See, he's right by the power-up, I see it. Or he has a power-up already attached, which he's just waiting to use, and I can't dodge. So a dodging ability would be something that I hope is uh, a power-up later on, or maybe just faster speed. Okay. I don't remember what on earth the key was for this. I need to make him a chicken. Here, chicken. No, stay a chicken. No, stay chicken. Yeah. No. No. No, 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 no. Okay. It's kind of cool to see something where the AI is really difficult uh, in trying to regain control from you. That's really nice to see. Oh, man. Now it's getting actually way more intense now that this is... Um, yeah, there we go. That's way more intense when that goes faster. So I can see why they maybe don't want the player to go faster. But it's a little unfair when he has a power up and don't. Oh man, doesn't look like I'm gonna win this. Although I kind of think that I should be able to advance and just kind of go back to this rather than keep retrying over and over again. But. It's the simple things that make this level really nice, and something that I would want to include in my game, because my game, the original concept of it was all about having one screen, and just kind of creating different environments around that one screen, and this is doing that pretty effectively, and more to that point, it's adding in things uh, to just kind of add to the one screen layout. You can see the leaves, you can see the particles on top of that, you can see all of the effects that trail with this. How do we do that? Alright, one and one. And I can only imagine this game just kind of getting more fun and more intense as I get to a higher level. Oh man. I kind of do wish that that didn't go superimposed and that was more of a, um, just kind of like a charge that was huge and I couldn't really stop it. Uh, I think that would be cool. One of the other things here, this is not really mentioned in this game, but with the whole, you know, superimposed shot of it using its power up. Oh. sound effect or something. Um, one of the whole things with it using its power up like that and then actually, um, yeah, actually uh, zooming in and completely stopping gameplay for a minute, I would kind of relate that to being a bullet time system, which is something that I was looking into uh, kind of replicating in my own way. I think a bullet time system would be perfect for my projectiles template uh, when that comes out. 
that would be really cool to have. And then just kind of slowing down bullets or slowing down time in the middle of the game is something uh, that I like in, in a lot of games if it's used correctly. If it's overused a little bit, I think you should only have it for certain bullets. Man, I ran right into that one. I think you should only have it for certain bullets because I kind of like the fast paces and the randomness of having other bullets so it's not 24-7 at this time. But, I don't know, that might defeat the purpose for some people. I really do like this charge effect, and that's another effect that I've been meaning to work on. So charge effect might be coming up in the future here, now that we're playing one board. Alright, I gotta beat this guy. We need to move forward here. He's destroyed me twice. Uh, okay, so it is a randomly generated background, or at least it's just a different background. See, like, there I have no control, and I remember from the tutorial what it says is, um, you basically have no, uh, way to get out of that. Whenever you have a power-up, you kind of just aim, and then you, you go off. Um, I would really like to get a power-up and show that to you. I'm just getting all the power -ups. Nah! Oh, come on. Apparently he caught that. Yeah! That's right. So basically, this game is called Wand Wars. I guess I'm shooting magical stuff out of a wand. I can kind of see that now. I'm flying on a broomstick, so I guess I'm a wizard or a witch. I guess I'm a Really nice animation, really nice pixel particle effects. There we go. Now we're, now we're in the lead. And I guess, you know, games like this, they just have a lot of replayability, which is really what I was trying to go for when I was doing my live stream with the game I'm currently working on. The whole thing that I really want is this kind of round system replayability. And for that, I'm actually very inspired by this game. And I think that this is another really fun game to showcase on this series because it's simple yet really, really, really effective. Uh, in getting its points across and being all about the gameplay. Like, very little menu screen. <laughs> Even when I was on the menu screen, uh, I don't remember if I showed it or not, it's basically you just move left and right to navigate, you can't see all the menu options. Uh, even if I hit pause here, it's just very, very basic. And really could be something to clone in the future. Oh man, does that mean he won? Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Last time with this, at least I'm gaining some experience. The last time with this, and if I don't win, uh, I'll see if there's anything else we can do. Otherwise, I'll call it after that. God, that was pretty cool. Handling extra collisions, like when bullets hit bullets, I think that's something that's nice attention to detail. I think every little flower or little pixel dot at the door is kind of like has like a wave behavior attached to it almost. Um, a, a wave effect. You can kind of see in the bottom right corner there. Uh, at least that's the easy spot to see. You can kind of see how all the way in the background there, everything's kind of waving, but you don't really notice it. Like, oh, man. All right. Okay. Motivation. One more. Round four. You're going down, Merlin. Oh. <laughs> I do like how um, we have our avatars, and then when you go into power-up mode, uh, they kind of flip it so you're all blacked out a little bit, like that. Pretty cool with the outline of your character. I think that's pretty sweet. I need to turn him into chicken more. Oh my god. We are not losing this. I'm gonna use my, my chicken abilities before he uses his power-up abilities. No! Become a chicken! It's a tie game. I had the lead and I lost it. The gold mini. Round seven. It's nice that the rounds are short. That is definitely a plus. Something I should probably keep in mind. Oh, come on. Don't kill me. Chicken. Yeah. That's right. Finally. All right. Winner. All right, let's move forward. And we leveled up. Awesome. What happens when I level up? Cloudstone. Gathering place for wizards and witches for many centuries. Oh, two enemies. Cool. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Does that thing summon gems? Let's poke it and see. What are you on my side? On my team? Almost seems like she is. 
And maybe it's almost a super buff. Like that, no. I kind of want this game to get more ridiculous, and I want more more enemies in here and more players. Aha, you're checking. Does that mean I win? Nice. One round goes to me. I think the hardest thing for this game is probably the enemy AI, since I feel like one of the oh, no. um, one of the best aspects of this game is probably going to be the co-op mode and playing with your friends and kind of having more user interaction than AI interaction. So that would be one of the harder things to program, I would imagine. Uh, you have a lot of features to to clone, but for the most part, pretty pretty straightforward. All right. I wish I could kind of do like more melee damage there. And this guy doesn't really give me much. Alright, cat. No. Check. No. Oh. I think if I wasn't talking and playing at the same time, I'd be able to kind of bounce off my a little bit more. Oh, man. See, that's just like total annihilation. Oh, yeah, power up. How do I. There we go, power up. One time I get a power up, I can get Ooh, a potion. That's new. Oh, super speed potion. There we go. Bam. Awesome. I had a feeling as I progressed that would happen more. Alright, let's see if we can. Oh. Let's get that. It's kinda cool that it generates the winner if I skip it. That's pretty cool. Really what I want to get out of doing all these Let's Play Lanes is just play the game, have fun playing the game, and talk about the things that I noticed. And if you guys notice anything that maybe I didn't notice, then please let me know in the comments. Um, or just anything else that you want to see cloned from this game or adapted from this game. Uh, I think every single game is going to have a lot of overlap, which is going to start to play more games that kind of have similar features to it. Uh, so it's more about the specific gameplay, and this game is pretty similar to um, the game I was trying to develop, the game I am developing, where it's just very singular, one room, play the game. And that's what I like about it the most. Alright, we're getting into the game. You're a chicken. You're, you're a cow. You're a chicken. No one's becoming a chicken. Now you're a chicken. Oh man. Oh, little little 360 motion there. That was cool. That's something we've gone over. Okay, so we just need to make sure the cat doesn't win. So I need a win. That's, oh. I keep forgetting they can catch it. And I died, and I hit my <laughs> game controller. Uh, as long as the cat doesn't win, and the cat did win. Oh, what a bummer. But... This game is really, really fun. Uh, it just came out literally, I think, today. It literally just came out. So if you want to check out Wand Wars, then do so. It's on Steam. Otherwise, I really do hope that you kind of got something out of this Let's Play to Learn. I hope you got a few things out that you haven't seen before. I would really like to see someone clone this game in Concert 2 or come close to just kind of making the same elements if I don't do something similar to that. But I really do hope that you enjoyed this Let's Play to Learn video. Again, I'm Jeremy Alexander. If you liked this video, leave a thumbs up. Comment below if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.